there's my plug right there. Yeah, this is where Dirk just dug the uh, one bullet, and then he said he got an iron tone six inches away, and I've got another bullet, or a good tone, a foot away. Pinpoint with this. Yeah, it's right there. There you go. It's already on. Here, take a look. I'll show you something real quick. All right, it's on now. I like to turn it on. Push it one time, let go, and then it's, it'll just stay on. There it is. Oh, that's a button. Oh, it's a button back. I'll be real careful. The front might be in here somewhere. There you go. Okay, we'll pull that away for a second and see if the face is in here. Ah, oh, shoot, it's been plowed. That's cool, man. Check it out. That's definitely a period button. Neat stuff. All right, let's see what we got here. Got uh, another good signal here. Given numbers in the 40s and 50s. Depth of five is what it says. Well, I had the camera off a little bit ago and I, I dug a really, really deep uh, drop free ringer. It was a real questionable signal and I didn't even want to turn the camera on for it because that's how questionable it was. And uh, turns out it was a bullet at about a foot. Another bullet, and I see it right there. Another dropped here in a great day. Dirk, this is going to be one of our best days yet. I've already got probably, I know my, how many of you got? You probably got five or six by now, haven't you? Yeah. I just got the one there. Okay. You're on camera. Right. Pressure's on. So I was there. walking away from Dirk. He was standing right over there, and um, just kind of swinging my coil as I was going back over this direction. And um, it's happened twice now. The first, I, I walked away the first time, got a right there. Dirk wanted me to check a signal for him, so I came back, tried to walk away the second time, got another bullet signal. There it is, right there. That's a fire bullet. Ooh. See that? Boy, that thing is That's fire. Wow. I've never seen one Boy, like that. It impacted that. somebody or something, didn't it? Wow. Man, look at that. It's huh. out. I've never seen. You can see the grooves where it, it, it skidded along, whatever it was. There's, it was shooting this way. Yeah. And uh, you can see on the back side, it's got this. Man, that's neat. That that's one of the cool. coolest fire bullets I think I've ever seen. All right, back in flat. Got another good signal here. This is given uh, higher numbers, which got me kind of excited. was given fairly consistent uh, numbers in the 70s. Anywhere from, really went from 47 to, to 80, but most of them were in the 70s. See, we got, it's saying five inches, but to me it sounds deeper than that. I, who knows?
it's not a bullet. It's a button. Looks to be just a flat button. I believe it is, yeah. Huh. Didn't expect that. Alright, thanks for watching. Back on the Tape. Here we go. It's over on that side. So it's centered right in. Right in this area. It's up. What I do is make an X like this. Okay. So it's right there, you know, it's right there. It's giving a nice high 80s buckle signal. I see it, it's brass. Kind of neat, even if it is farm. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! What in the world? Big. <laughs> it's obviously not so far. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to straighten it out and use my D. Old brass, so look at that green. Yeah. Um, Five inches down? Well, I guess. Could have plow. Uh oh, hold on. I see brass right here. Oh, that's an, oh wow, what's that? Um, Can you tell? Hmm. Oh, it, is it a backing of something? Yeah, I think it is. I think you got, well. Because it almost looks like clips on the back or something, doesn't it? Or yeah. is that my imagination? No, that's, that's what it is. Hmm. Wow. Looked like part of a of a, um, see, there's a plate loop. for a second, but it's not. Yeah, there's I see the loop there. there. Hmm, I don't know. We can get, get some, uh, get some people on the treasure spot to identify it. That's awesome. Good time. Camera's on. Or what'd you say? What was that term you used? Lights, camera, action. Lights, camera. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, just walked away. You know what? This happens every time I walk away from you. I get a good signal. I've been walking up to Dirk and doing something, talking or whatever, and then I walk away and I get a good signal. And this one is... Wow. It says 1 inch, 72, 67, 70, 65, 62. Scream it. I, this is a really nice signal. And it sounds big to me, whatever the object is. It, it's stating that it's an inch deep. But that's probably just because it's a large target. A large target. I hope that's what it is. Let's hope it's a plate, man. Oh, oh what is that? What the heck is that? I don't know. That reminds me of that other thing I it found does. back there. I don't know what but that it's, is. But it's totally different looking, but it's... Got a crack in it, but gotta better be careful with it. You know, it looks like a little cannon. <laughs> I know, that's what I thought. It's like a miniature cannon. Obviously brass. Huh? You know what? That, well, I was gonna say the hole in it is also square like your other piece, but I don't think it is. But that is not could it be some kind of finial? You know, mm, to, you know? I don't know. I don't know of any finial like that. I don't know. I'm thinking a handle off something. A handle right, off right, that makes or, sense. Who knows what? Well, anyway, that's an interesting find. That is. We'll get somebody on the treasure spot to ID it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know.